Hello friends, let us study about the dorsal column syndrome. Now to understand the dorsal column syndrome, let us draw a spinal cord first. Right? And here is my dorsal root ganglion. These fibers, they'll ascend up, you know. And here is a column, what we call as fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus. If there is a unilateral lesion at these levels, what will be the loss? There will be ipsilateral loss of dorsal column tract sensations. Example, fine touch, two-point discrimination, tactile localization, proprioception, vibration. How about the anterior lateral system? So let me draw the anterior lateral system and then we'll think what will happen to them. Anterior lateral system, what do we find? They go here. Some of the fibers, they cross over to the lateral side and they ascend up as a lateral spinothalamic tract. Whereas some fibers will come to the anterior nucleus or the anterior funiculus and then they will ascend up. Is there any loss to the ipsilateral pain and temperature sensations? No. Anterior lateral spinothalamic sensations are intact. One thing we know that the dorsal column tract, it carries from the proprioceptors. Since these fibers, dorsal column tract fibers are now damaged, there will be sensory ataxia. So what will you find in sensory ataxia? If you ask for a Romberg sign, it will be positive. These are the manifestation when there is a damage only to a unilateral damage to the dorsal column tract. Now, let me see if there is a bilateral damage. So, if the damage is bilateral, what are the things that we will see? There will be loss of dorsal column tract sensations from both the sides, right? And what will I find? There will be sensory ataxia as the dorsal column tract are carrying your proprioceptive fibers. How about the anterior lateral spinothalamic tract sensations? They will remain intact. Fine. This is one such type of lesion which we have studied. Why anterior lateral uh, it will be intact? Now look at it. Where is my lesion? Is there a lesion in the pathway of this? No. Is there a lesion to my nucleus? No. Is there any lesion as they are ascending up? No. Because they ascend up totally as a different column tract. Right. Hence, they are spared. They are spared. They are intact. Since only the dorsal column fibers, you know, dorsal column, fasciculus, gracilis and cuneatus, they are damaged. At the level of lesion, you will have the loss of dorsal column tract sensations, but your anterior lateral tract sensations will be intact both at the level as well as below the level. Got my point? Is it clear now? Okay.